गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू द चैप्टर नंबर 15 थैंक यू मैम इट इज अ न्यू चैप्टर हियर एंड पेज नंबर इज 105 दिस स्टोरी इज अबाउट अ बॉय हु ट्राइड टू स्नैच द पर्स ऑफ अ लेडी एंड इज अ कॉट रेड हैंडेड बाय हर लेट अस सी दैट व्हाट happened with this boy she was a large woman she was a large woman a large purse had everything in it and what is that let me see i will show you the picture of a that woman see how large she is i mean she is a fat there she has a hand bag there and the boy fell down that had everything in it but a hammer and nails what were there hammer and nail was there it had a long strip i mean the handle of the bag was a long and she carried it strung across her shoulder yes it was a heavy and she was hanging it on her shoulders and it was very tough for her to handle that it was about it strung across it was about 11 o'clock the time was 11 o'clock at a night and she was walking alone there suddenly a boy ran up behind her and he snatched her bags as he snatched her bag what happened the strap broke down i mean the handle of the bag broke down with a single tug and what is that the meaning of a tug is there that is a sudden hard pull as the he pulled the bag it just broke down and the boy gave it from behind but the boy sweat combined with the weight of the purse it, the purse was a very heavy because hammer was there and the nails were there and this way what happened his balance was not perfect there so instead of taking off full blast as she had a hope the boy fell on his back on the side walk and his legs flew up that is a why what happened this lex flew up the large woman simply what happened turned round and reached down she picked the boy up and his shirt front and shook him until his teeth rattled what happened rattled that means he is applying his force there too much of a force he is applying there says a blind after the woman said pick up my bag that means she caught the boy there and now she is telling pick up come she still held him she is not leaving her him alone i mean free but she bent down enough to permit him to stop and pick up her purse now the boy picked up her purse then she said now aren't you ashamed of yourself now she is scolding him firmly gripped i mean tightly holding the boy's shirt and the boy said yes ma'am i am feeling ashamed but at that time two or three people also passed there they stopped there they were watching what is happening there i am very sorry lady i am sorry whispered the boy now the boy is a feeling apology feeling ashamed and that is a why he is repeating this words several times thank you i will keep up till here today.